welcome back to Crafts by Caitlin. I'm so excited for today's projects. They are a little bit different than what I'm used to putting on my channel. These are more about painting, but I promise they're super easy, so do not get overwhelmed. But they are very fun and they turned out really cute. Uh, before we get started in the video, I do want to show you all these beautiful uh, photo books that I printed from Chatbooks. And these start at just $10, so they would make an awesome Valentine's or Mother's Day gift. But I thought the quality is beautiful. That's just my little family. We took these pictures before Christmas. And this is just a little candid shot. I thought this would be so pretty on the cover so I could set it around on the end table or coffee tables. And I love whenever company comes over and they just get to look at these. But honestly, they have such beautiful prints. These were so easy to put together. Like, I honestly just... Uh, chose the photos that I wanted and it put it together, but you can also uh, decide which order you want them to and customize the cover. But I thought these were such pretty quality photos. And I just got several photos of my kids and things that we did last year. Um, I don't print photos all the time anymore. So this is such a neat way uh, to get to print them and display them and get to keep them in a safe place. But I love how these turned out. I honestly love this one so much that I decided to order another one. I thought this would be such a cute little idea. Um, I put in uh, a lot of my DIYs and crafts that I've made on my channel. And honestly, the cover looks so beautiful that I'm just gonna set this around as a little decor piece. It's such pretty quality. But I just filled this full of DIYs that I put on my channel last year. And a, little, a couple were from this year. But I love how they look. There were some from Christmas. I thought this would just be such a neat little book to have forever and I remember everything that I've been making on my channel. But the pictures are so cute. So if you are interested in getting one of these chat books, I use the link down below. I, you get 20% off if you use the coupon code Caitlin20. But make sure you do go click the link down below uh, to get one of these beautiful little books. These are so cute. So huge thank you to Chatbooks for sponsoring today's video. I honestly love these and I do recommend go checking the link out down below. Now to get started with painting our DIYs. I promise they're easy, don't get overwhelmed, and they were super fun to make and really cute. So let's get started. So for these projects, I'm going to be using these small little wooden boxes from Dollar Tree or these little signs, but you definitely could just use scrap wood if that's what you have on hand. And I just started by removing the little 3D pieces that they had and then sanding that down to get a smooth surface. Even though I am going to be adding some red and pink in here for the Valentine's Day decor, I did want a nice base coat of this gray beige color. And um, This is the mineral chalk paint just so it would blend in really nicely with all of my neutral farmhouse decor. I think I ended up having to give each one of these little boxes three coats of the chalk paint just to cover up all the lettering and the little uneven spot. So for this first little decor piece, I wanted it to look like a little envelope of a love letter and I'm going to be using this elephant chalk paint um, and I just use the Waverly chalk paints from Walmart and I just need a basic shape of an envelope so I'm just going to be using a rectangle with a little triangle on the top so it pretty much just looks like I'm painting a little house. You can see that I did start off with a small little rectangle because I al always am so nervous just to dive in and start painting in case I mess up, but I did slowly go over it and make it a little bigger. If you are nervous about freehanding, you definitely could sketch this out with a pencil very lightly and just erase anything that is showing through, but I knew this was just going to be a basic shape, and like I say, I am not a professional painter. This was just for fun and just to show you some neat little ideas uh, to use Dollar Tree items in case you don't have access to um, some scrap wood or have saws or anything like that, but it's so simple to take uh, little decor pieces that you can find very inexpensive and change them up into things that you will love. I wanted an in-between color from the background and the envelope, so I just mixed a little bit of my elephant gray along with some of the mineral to get this medium color that I'm going to be using for the inside of the envelope. Then I'm just going to be using a cheap paint marker. I picked these up in a pack from Walmart as well. I also like the Sharpie brand sometimes. And I'm just going to outline this. Like I say, it is not perfect. I'm just doing this for fun, but I love how it's turning out. 
I think by adding the black outlines it definitely gives it more definition of what it is and then I just went over the places that didn't show up really well and this makes it look more like an envelope. So I'm using this little wooden white heart. I picked these up in a large pack from Target Dollar Spot. They have lasted me forever, but I know that they do have wooden hearts at places like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. So I'm just going to hot glue that down onto the envelope to give it a little bit of Valentine decor. So whenever I'm crafting, I honestly don't know exactly what things are gonna turn out to look like. Um, I kind of have an idea in my head, but I always try it out, and then if I don't like it, I just fix it. For this piece, um, I wanted a little letter, um, so I'm just using a little piece of cardstock that I cut out and folded that over, but I wanted it to look like a little letter poking out of the envelope, and you all know that I hate my handwriting uh, whenever it comes to adding it on decor pieces. I just don't really like it. It just makes it seem to me like a less of a uh, professional decor piece, so I didn't like it at all, and I do end up replacing that, but I did just hot glue it down already because I did think that's what I was going to use. Um, I added some of this beautiful little red and white checkered ribbon that I also picked up from Dollar Tree. I just wrapped it around the block so it'll add some cute little decor on the edges and then tied a little knot on the top. And then I thought it needed something extra and it was just plain behind the envelope so I ended up using the back end of a paintbrush and I just added some uh, pink polka dots. This is in the ballet slipper color also in the Waverly chalk paint because I don't hardly use anything else but I just added some random different size dots all in the background. Then I wanted the top just to be a little bit higher so I ended up just tying a super simple bow out of the same white and red checkered uh, ribbon and then hot glue that to the top. Like I say, I did not like that little letter with my handwriting on there so I decided to add another different little letter uh, by cutting out a different piece of cardstock and I just drew some cute little hearts on there and I love it so much more. It coordinates with the red ribbon perfect. So this is what it turned out to look like. I absolutely love this. I think it's so cute. You could definitely personalize the little letter and add this into a three-tiered tray or put all of these blocks together to make one decor scenery. Um, and then I'm just doing the same thing for the second block. I'm removing that little 3D piece, sanding it down, and then giving it a nice base coat of the mineral chalk paint. So I knew I wanted this block to say something and the easiest way for me to do that is to use these little wooden letters. I didn't have the L so I ended up having to uh, fix this F so it turned it into an L. This particular small style came from Walmart and they're just a couple dollars for a very large pack of them. Uh, a lot of times uh, my Dollar Tree is sold out of the wooden letters so I do like to pick those up at Walmart. I just spelled out the word love and I'm painting that in the same little pink ballet slipper that I used on the first block. Now for this, I wanted a pretty little painted wreath with some berries on it. You can trace this out with a pencil if you want it to be perfect, but I really just wanted this to look like a little hand painted grapevine, so I wasn't worried about it being perfect. I just did one solid circle around. No, it's not perfect. I intentionally did not want it perfect. And then I just did another little natural looking circle around the edges as well. After I did the two simple little circles around it to make it look like an intertwined little grapevine, I just put these little sprouts or branches off of there. Um, and these are very easy. They were just pretty much just little squiggly lines that ran in the same direction. So I wanted all of these blocks to coordinate with the same color red and pink paint color and it matches the little red hearts that were on my little love letter and it also goes really well with the red and white uh, checkered ribbon. But I'm just taking the back side of my paintbrush and then adding some little berries on those little sprouts or sprigs or whatever they're called. After I had spaced out all the little red polka dots nicely, I went back in and filled in the little blank spaces with the ballet slipper pink color. Mm -hmm. 
Then it was super simple just to hot glue down my letters and add the same matching bow on there. I also think this one turned out really pretty and think this would look really pretty on a larger scale if you had like a larger circle piece. So I did have a different block for the last one but it is exactly the same size. They just had two different styles at Dollar Tree and I wanted some cute little love birds. I love birds. I think they're so cute and I just wanted something to represent me and my husband. So I'm just very simply painting a branch. Like I say, I'm no professional painter. Um, I just found a picture on Pinterest that I really liked so I just kind of looked at that. But I just started with a branch and I do not want this to look perfect. That's why I'm leaving my little branch brush strokes and it looks feathered but that is completely fine and I'm just adding some little branches off of this. Also to make it coordinate with the other blocks I'm painting some little leaves with the pink color and the red color and that is the pink ballet slipper chalk paint and then just some apple barrel red flag paint. The little birds were so simple to make. I just drew the little heads and their little bodies and their little tails and they don't look perfect but I did think they were cute enough to be able to display that in this decor piece. It was so simple just to sketch them out with this black paint marker and then I was able just to take some of my apple barrel black paint and fill them in. After the black paint had completely dried, I'm using a white paint marker just to give them a little bit of highlight and definition. I thought it would be really cute to incorporate our initials into this piece, so I just wrote them on the, another one of those little white wooden hearts, and then I just took this fine little sharpie and made it look like it was just hanging from another branch. I also tied the red and white checkered ribbon around the top and for the two side ones I just tied it in a knot. I didn't add the full bow. I tried to lay them out and make sure they all coordinated really well. I did forget the red leaves on the birds so I did go back in and add those. I'll be honest, I was kind of nervous about doing the bird one at first. I was worried it wouldn't turn out, but I think it has definitely come to be one of my favorites. But I loved how all three of these turned out. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and if you're going to try to do this. But thank you all so, so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Bye.